Welcome to the Design in It 9 video learning series. In this tutorial, we'll be working in the standard garment styling section of the program where Design in It can automatically build a sweater or a garment for you of a bunch of different types. Let's go there now. When you first come into this section, it's asking you, do you want to make a new garment? Do you want to open up an existing garment that you were working on? Put in custom sizes, and here's the last five sweaters that I have worked on. Today, we're going to say new garment. And it's going to ask a series of questions in a couple of windows, collecting information so that designing it can build your garment for you. This is going to be a sweater for my husband. So I'm going to say adult, male, sweater, straight sleeves for now, round neckline, and straight across the back. Okay. Next thing it's asking, do you want to knit this on a knitting machine or by hand? We'll use the knitting machine right now. Okay. And then it's going to ask you, well, what knitting machine do you want to use? And I'm going to pick mine, the KH970. And there's lots of them in here. Look at here. Here's the Brother Machines. Here's different other machines, Pass Up, Silver Reed, Toyota. But we're going to pick mine right now. OK. Next thing is, is your tensions. And right now, it's set in inches up here. And I'm just going to put in a guess for my tensions because I haven't knit my swatch yet. And most of the time, the yarn that I like to use comes out seven stitches and 10 rows to the inch. I have a tendency to put the exact same measurements in for the ribbing and the cuff tensions because I tend not to measure it very often. Only when the cuffs are very long, then I take the time to make a swatch for the ribbing. But most of the time, I just match this tension. And when I'm actually knitting on the machine, I just turn the tension dial down two full numbers. Or if I'm hand knitting, I use a smaller size needle. Tension dial setting or needle sizes. Let's say it was tension dial 7 and two dots on my machine. Comments about this. We have 4,000 characters. We could write a whole paragraph in here for my husband. I could put in the yarn that I used. Whatever I want in here. OK. Now we have a couple of different kinds of ease. This one here, zero, means that the ease is already in the measurements and designing it doesn't need to add any more. And this is a special case, but most of the time you're going to pick one of these three. This is a more closely fit to the body. Classic ease is generally the most common ease used. And oversized ease, I might pick that if I was making a sweater that I would be wearing skiing. Classic ease, OK. We have standard sizes and custom sizes. Right now, we're going to pick the standard built-in sizes into designing it. It's brought up, because we picked an adult male, it's only brought up those standard sizes. It's telling us we're in inches. And here's my inches and my chest size. But I also have my centimeter measurements here in case I wanted to use that. So the 40 inch 102 centimeter chest size is perfect. OK. And look, it's already peeking out. This only took two minutes. And as I go here, I can adjust this chest size to, let's say, exactly 40 if I want. And I'm going to adjust this down two tenths of an inch. As I'm changing here, it's showing me down here in this little window what the measurement is that I'm taking. 
this nape to garment length if i want it to just go to my hip my waist i would pick that if i like a sweater that goes down to my husband's hips i would put that nape to garment length my husband is quite tall and i'm going to change this nape to garment length a little bit longer and i'm also going to add two inches to the arm length and I can change the ease here if I need to. Okay. And we have a sweater. Here's the sleeve. I'm going to close this window for a minute. And we have a sweater ready to knit. I can make a few small adjustments. These windows here easily bring up this one. Brings up this if I want to make a couple more quick changes. This one here brings up the standard size table in case I want to just change the chest measurement up or down. This here, select the garment type. I'm not going to save it right now, but I could say I would rather have this to be set in sleeves. Okay, and it's saying this is actually a big change and it now requires a new set of ease for set in sleeves. Okay, and I'm still gonna pick classic ease and it's gonna figure it out for set in sleeve ease. And now I have a set in sleeve for my husband. I have these buttons down here for styling and we'll go into this in other videos, but just quick, this is the body styling and this shoulder drop here is this, and I'm going to change this to 0.75 inches. And that just gives me a little bit here. Maybe I'm gonna change that to only a half an inch. And that just gives a little bit more softness. File, save, and it, and it will ask you what you want to name it. Now, I would like to have actually a new folder here by clicking here to make a new folder. And the name I'm going to give the folder is Sweaters for the Family. So always an enter to finish that change. Always get yourself organized. It's really easy to have way too many files. And I'm going to call this one My Husband one for his first sweater save when i make another change i just say file save as and i'm going to overwrite this and say save or i could give it a new name and call it sweater number two all i have to do now is print out my instructions and start knitting one more point when i do my tension measurements I prefer to do the tension in centimeters. It's a lot easier to look at 10.1 on the ruler than to figure it in quarter inch increments. So I'm going to temporarily say options, units of measurement, centimeters, okay. And now up here it says centimeters, options, tensions. And I have a couple of options. My tension for 10 centimeters, let's say, is 28 and 40. And down here, 28 and 40. Or a lot of times I make a swatch that's 40 stitches wide and 60 rows high. And this is a standard kind of a swatch. And I could just take my ruler and measure 40 stitches wide is how many centimeters? And I'm going to say that that was actually 15.1 centimeters. And the height in rows was 15.3 centimeters. And when I do that, it automatically figures out the new stitches per 10 centimeters here. And I'm going to put the same values down here, 26.49 and 39.22. Isn't this nice design? And it does all the math for you. 
okay. And then because for taking my husband's measurements, I prefer inches, options, units of measurement, inches, and it has already recalculated the tension and all of the measurements, if I bring this up, all of these measurements are now in inches. And I'm just gonna say file and save these changes. The only thing I have to do left is to go ahead and print out a little packet of information to start knitting. And we'll cover that in a separate video. Thank you.